Thank you very much uh, for joining us, Abel. I guess the writing was on the wall uh, where we've had months of uh, protest uh, in that country. What has caused this political tension in Mali? It, yeah, after spending um, five years in office, President Ibrahim um, Keita won his re-election bid, you, you, if you can recall, under controversial um, circumstances. You, you remember his victory, however, did not go down well with um, the opposition who alleged that the election um, was marred by irregularities. So um, the crisis was further heightened after um, the parliamentary elections there in March 2020 amidst um, the coronavirus crisis and um, um, rebel incursion. So a few days after, um, prior to the poll, Malian opposition leader um, Somalia Sisi was abducted alongside six members of his team while um, campaigning. Although the president denied that being behind the abduction and promised that security operatives um, were, were on the lookout for their abductors. The opposition did not believe him. The Constitutional Court of Mali later overturned that result um, for 30, um, 31 seats, yeah, giving Keita's party 10 more parliamentary um, seats. In reaction to the judgment, you know, thousands of protesters actually stormed the streets, you know, demanding for um, Keita, Keita's ouster. Um, and to force his hand, opposition um, uh, um, parties, civic, civic groups formed an alliance called the um, a movement of June 5, um, rally of patriotic forces, um, also known as M5. For several weeks um, consecutively, um, we saw members of the new and alliance staged um, demonstrations uh, in, the, in the streets of um, Bamako, a mounting pressure on the president to, to step down. There were, there were regional interventions. The economic community of West African state, who was uh, enveloped by former Nigerian president, uh, um, Gibbler Jonathan, began a mediation mission to resolve the political crisis. Um, and um, it, it, they, 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 there were a lot of, a couple of recommendations, you know, worried that the country was about to even plunge into crisis. The United Nations also and Africa Union Commission, all the, the, um, the, 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 after the, after the, um, the shoulder actually, the shoulders actually ceased um, um, after the, um, took the, um, the president, you know, they condemned the detention of the, uh, of the president and the prime minister on Tuesday, you know, uh, but, 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 but the chairman of the, um, in the previous conflicts, if you look at the previous, previous conflict that rocked the nation, many more reactions, you know, are uh, actually expected in the coming days as um, uh, Mali and Zambato, another constitutional crisis. But, but the soldiers who ousted the Mali, the, the president, you know, said they plan to set up a civilian transitional government and um, they have promised the people um, to hold new elections. It, it, the, the spokesman for the soldiers said they, they, they actually acted to prevent um, the country from falling into chaos. You know, the, the president has resigned um, um, on, on Tuesday night, you know, and he said he did not want bloodshed to spill, you know, to, to keep him in power. He did and, not um, want bloodshed um, uh, to spill and, and to keep him uh, in power, Abel. What has been uh, the reaction in Bamako, uh, especially after those protests that people were consistently holding? Are people happy that this has happened or are they careful? Because after all, it is a military coup. I think people are happy. They were actually expecting, um, you know, a change. Everybody, you know, they were expecting a change. I told you, majority of the people were not happy, you know, with uh, um, the, the election. And there have been series of protests even before now. There have been protests in Bamako. So you, you, you can see all about most people are jubilant, you know, because they, they feel um, they can, it's like, it's like giving the power to them now that they can now elect, you know, who they want into that position. So, um, and um, the, the shooters calling themselves, you know, the, the National Committee for the Salvation of the People, that, that says a lot, you know, and um, they, they seem to have, you know, um, gained um, the trust. The, the people seem to, you know, believe in them. You know, they said, um, they, they, they actually said, the shooters said they, they are not interested in staying in power. They don't, want to, they don't want to stay in power. They only wanted a change. They only wanted to give the people the voice, you know, um, uh, um, and the voice so that they can elect who they want. They want a fresh election. And that is uh, what we actually expect is going to happen in coming days. So it, it, one, one, one would wonder, you know, if, if you can recall the desert regions of northern Mali, they are home to various militant groups, you know, so, some who are even linked to Akira, which have also spread into neighboring Niger, Burkina Faso, Chad, and Mauritania. So, um, it, 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 French troops also working with um, a, a regional force known as DFAR Sahel, 
you know, uh, and a 10,000 strong force of UN uh, peacekeepers are based in Mali trying to tackle the militants. So because they, that they, security they, situation they, has been precarious uh, for secure. quite a while uh, in Mali. Uh, ECOWAS has always been consistent in terms of stepping yeah. in whenever there's been situations uh, in West Africa and Mali being no different. We've also heard uh, from the chairperson of the African Union, President Sir Ramaphosa, condemning uh, this latest development uh, in that country. What has ECOWAS said about what is going on now, given the high level of intervention that they offered? Yeah, uh, the, the um, ECOWAS, they, they've actually, um, they, they strongly um, condemned, um, they strongly condemned the, the, um, the, um, the development, you know, um, like I said earlier on, you know, they, they, you know, they started the mediation mission to resolve the, the, the political crisis, you know, and uh, that resulted in the dissolution and the reconstitution of uh, um, the constitutional court, you know, in, in, in July, um, um, the, the, uh, and, you know, the, the, the former president um, in company of five West African head of states, you know, they visited Mali um, as a follow-up to um, Jonathan pre previous uh, mediation mission to Bamako. So there have been series of interventions, and um, what they are saying is uh, uh, they, they are they everybody uh, ECOWAS, including the UN, um, they are condemning they are condemning the um, the um, um, the ouster, you know of, um, of of the president, and they, they are saying that even if you want to resolve a crisis, it is not um, going back to the, the coup. Coup is not the answer, and that, that's 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 what ECOWAS is saying, and other. Um, global bodies, you know, they are obviously um, um, against um, um, the, the, the strategy or against um, the military taking power and taking hold of the president. Thank you very much, uh, Abel Kolade from Lagos State Radio Service out in Lagos, Nigeria, for us with more on this unfolding situation in Mali.